Hello, Ani Bojo. Asha Frost here, Indigenous Medicine Woman and the creator of the Sacred Medicine Oracle deck. So I'm here to do our monthly full moon reading. This month we are working in the sugar moon. The sugar moon is the time on my ancestral territories when the maple syrup begins to run. The maple water begins to run and then we create this gorgeous medicine that Indigenous people always saw as beautiful medicine of the sweetness. And sometimes we have an interesting connotation to sweetness. So I love to invite in sweetness internally during this time, asking ourselves, where are we being extra hard or critical? Where do we need to soften ourselves? Where can sweetness touch us where perhaps we didn't have that as a child or we didn't have that as an adolescent? And now we can offer this to ourselves during this moon time. So during this moon, deer medicine comes in in a beautiful way as an animal ally, helping us to connect to that sweetness and softening and helping us to really look at how our inner critic takes up space within our cells and our sacred waters, asking us to return to just a deeper sense of self-love and enoughness, knowing that we are always worthy. So I'm going to do a three card reading for us for this month asking spirit what do we need to know during this next cycle of sugar moon and maybe even what spirits do we need or what medicine do we need to help us to return to that gorgeous um, sweetness that the sugar moon brings okay oh this is interesting so we got the wolf spirit which is protection so wolf spirit, my yingan, such a gorgeous animal totem and being that walks with us and is with us. Wolf is really fierce in their boundaries. So the sense that I get for in regards to this moon is wolves gathering around us saying, those voices that are external to you, whether they're collective or colonial or systemic voices, wolf is saying, let's be fierce about the boundaries around your um, energy field. What are you letting in? What are you pushing out? What are you taking into your sacred waters? Let's be really, really conscious of this. Wolf is a guardian spirit, helps us to set boundaries in that way. And there's that fierceness. So it's saying, how can you protect your self-love and your self-worth in a fierce way? Wolf is guarding that space and honoring that for you during this month's time. So you have a protector, you have a guardian, you have wolf to do that. And sometimes we just need to listen a little bit deeper and how we can work with that boundary medicine and that fierce energy protection on how we can really um, care for ourselves in that way. So the second card we got is the animal totem card, which is a claiming card. Now this card invites us into the animal spirit realm and says, who is your totem that's guiding you through this month? We have deer medicine, Wabash Kashe, that is here um, ultimately for this moon. But is there another animal that is here in the medicine guiding you back to that sense of worthiness? And you can do that in a different multiple of ways. You can do an animal journey. You can see what animals are showing up for you. But there is a totem that wants to come forward this month to guide you into worthiness, into softening, into deep care for yourself. So even if you want after this video, just ask your visionary centers, your hearing, your knowing, what animal wants to be with me because the animal spirits are guarding you and they're around you as evidenced by wolf. This is a heavy animal spirit month for you and they are here. And the last one is reclamation, which is the home card. Now this card is inviting you back to your true self, asking you to um, really meld with your authentic self, really connect to what are the authentic words you want to speak? What's the authentic energy you want to share? What feels like home to you? Who feels like home to you? How can you return to that within your own body, your own self? How can you create safety for yourself? During this moon, I feel like that's what Dear Medicine is inviting us into, that sense of safety and peace um, and rootedness and groundedness within our own system and our own bodies. So this is calling you back home to your truest being, knowing that your truest being is filled with divine light, knowing that your truest essence was dreamed here by your ancestors and you are so, so more than enough. So these three cards coming forward for us 
this month, a lot of protection and guardianship for the energies that are swirling around, a lot of coming in and back to what feels like home to you, and then asking for additional animal spirits to be around you as we move through Sugar Moon, as you return to that inherent worthiness, remembering to be kind to yourself, to remember to um, honor, honor that self-worth always, always. So that is our beautiful reading for this month. Happy Sugar Moon. Until next time, please remember to subscribe and maybe leave a comment. It's such a gift to do this every month with you. Bye for now. Be quiet.